Hey everybody, this is John, your host on MGTOW is Freedom. MGTOW has been going their own way. Well, um, I apologize for the extra videos yesterday, testing to see what YouTube is up to. Kind of proved that uh, they're, they've got some sort of sensor that picks up on language. Bad, dirty language. <laughs> Topics they don't like. They've got keywords. So that's what they're up to they're trying to financially punish people you know really seriously who cares you know they're a bunch of ding-dongs it's all there is to it and they can't stop what's going on in fact I had an episode happen today or is it yesterday anyways it was when the Sun was up last and uh, when I saw what happened I realized that's what's going on with these younger men um, right now, young men, uh, teenagers, late teens, early 20s, they're going MGTOW without even having a lot of experience with women. They aren't even having to get married and have a divorce before they go, you know what? This system isn't for me. I see where this is going. They're getting henpecked so badly by their mothers. Right? They're getting pushed around so much by their own family, women in their family, their moms, probably their grandmothers, their sisters, other girls in their life, that they are getting training day quality uh, look at the life they have ahead of them if they want to have a relationship with a woman. So the example I saw today is I was standing in line, just standing in line waiting my turn and a family walked up behind me. It was two brothers, a sister, and a mom. Right, and the first brother just took off. Pew, he's gonna go have some fun. The second one was holding some kind of boogie board thing. You know, he's gonna go run out to the water and play. And he started to run, he got like one and a half step. And his mom goes, hey you, get back here. She goes, I need you to help me. And he's like, what? And he gets this look on his face and he's like, what? You know? And she says, don't you think you should come back here and help us carry some towels? And the kid was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? And I was thinking to myself, oh my God, are you kidding me? Right? It's the mom and her daughter. And they're having mommy and daughter time. Right? The boy, the first boy just, just took off. Pew! out of there like a shot out of a cannon right he's heading for the water he's gonna go have him some fun and the second son right he was just a little slower off the mark and he got punished for it punished for something stupid like the mom and the daughter they couldn't carry four towels from the towel counter and I just thought that's the type of stuff that's the training these young boys are getting see it's not that the towels were too heavy. It's that the boy's going to have fun. And the girl, the mom, has to put an end to it. She has to stop the fun before it can begin. She has to limit it. Right? She has to give him a chore. This is exactly what older men... So you young guys, young MGTOW out there, us older guys, yeah, we've had to deal with it too. Now, my mother, right, never stopped me that I can remember. We get to the beach, we get to the pool, we get to the lake, we get to the river. I'm gone, right? None of this get back here and help me stuff, right? They're boys. You let them run. Right? Let them be in. Stop henpecking them. But see, women don't get it. They don't see what they're doing. They don't see that they're training these men to resent them. So you young guys, if you're already feeling resentment, you haven't even been in a major relationship long term for five years or more, or married where you, you realize, right, that they want to take your testicles and put them into their handbag, right? But these boys today, they're getting a full dose of fourth wave feminists as their mothers. You bet your, you bet your ass, right? You can bet on it. They don't want anything to do with women because their mom is just ruining them. Absolutely floored.
is what I was when I saw this. And you know, I know I know women that have sons that when they get to 18, they run. They run as fast and as far as their legs can carry them. They run into the military to get away because then there's no more excuse for mommy. No more excuse for mommy to say, you have to come home. The kid can say, hey, Uncle Sam's got me now. I'm out of here. Bam, shot out of a cannon, right? But when you look at what women are doing, they can't just work with a man. They can't just uh, control a man's life a little. They've got to dominate all the way. And it's not just their man. I watch women do this at work to other men that aren't even theirs. I watch women do it to their husbands to the point where the guy looks like he's about to slit his wrists. Right? I see it on this, this work of vacation of mine. I, I, I really expected to see a lot more romantic behavior. <laughs> a lot more romantic behavior between men and women. And the most romantic behavior I saw was women on their baby moon. That's right, women on their baby moon. They don't take a man on a honeymoon now. They get pregnant and take the baby on a vacation while it's in their stomach. I know you guys are going to have a hard time stomaching this. But it's true. Women now go on a baby moon. And the guy is the photographer fashion accessory. Much like the wedding the other day I saw between two lesbians. And then the wedding I saw where the woman walked off, right? And all the other women were cheering and clapping for her. Yay, you got him, you got him, girl. And I'm like, what the heck is this? What is this BS? Right? And then the baby moon everywhere. Baby moon. It's like the guy is not even the number one thing. It's about the baby. What does the baby represent? Right? The baby represents like it's the trifecta of owning a man. How to own a man? Vagina, marriage, baby. You are done. Cooked. Cooked. Dead. Right? Training day. When they get you to that, right? Ready, aim, fire. Right? Vagina, marriage, baby. You are done. Training is over. You are owned. Owned. So when I see these kids, right? These young men, and I see him and I hear about him at work, they run. I watched that kid just earlier today. 